We have all heard of you're not ugly, you're just poor, and that is true in some cases, but you don't need a ton of money in general to have a really good glow up at home. There are so many ways to instantly enhance your beauty without spending a lot of money and going broke. I went from having pimples, having no sense of style, and not knowing what to do with my hair, to clear skin, my own sense of style, confident, and looking fit on a budget. Hello, I'm Raina, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to elevate all areas of your appearance so you can become more attractive and you don't have to break the bank while doing it. You do not need an 8,000 step routine to have really good skin. I hate when I'm clicking on videos of girls' skincare routines and they use so many products that you really do not need to use. You need a really hydrating cleanser. I love using the CeraVe cleanser. I use it every single day. I've been using it for years. It's really good if you have sensitive skin, if you have eczema prone skin, or acne prone skin. Now, if you have acne, benzoyl peroxide is a really good ingredient to look for. Now, you could use Differin. Differin, it has a good price over the counter. Panoxyl is one of my favorite over the counter acne treatments. When I had really bad acne, these are some of the things that I would use that I thought was affordable for me. You could look for anything that has benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid. Those are two ingredients you really want to look for if you want to buy drugstore. Never pop your pimples. I know that it's really hard not to pop your pimples. For me, it is so hard to get rid of my scars. They will literally stay on my face for months. If I have scars, I grab my natinol. You could buy this from Amazon. It has hydroquinone, so this is the reason why it's really good at fading scars. And you put it on your scar every single night before bed until it goes away. If you have bacne, panoxyl is amazing for that. Another thing that helps with back knee, which surprises everyone, but it is head and shoulder shampoo. Just lather it on your back, leave it on for a few minutes, and then wash it off in the shower and just do that until it's gone. Sunscreen is super important to wear every single day. Even if you're not going outside, sun is coming out of your window, so you want to make sure you have on sunscreen. Now, I know people say to reapply sunscreen. This only applies if you are outside doing a lot of things. You're sweating, you're swimming, all these things. But if you're staying inside all day long, you don't have to reapply sunscreen. You want to use a retinol. This is really good for anti-wrinkle properties and is also good for acne and just evening your skin tone. I just noticed my skin looks so different whenever I don't use my retinol. For some reason, it looks more dry and dull. It does not look good. I feel like it does give me that glass skin glow. And slugging is a really good affordable option. So if you don't want to buy a new moisturizer, everybody has Vaseline. You just put a little bit on a palm of your hand, you rub it on your hand, and just slather it on your face. Now for your lips, I don't like putting Vaseline on my lips because I feel like it tastes so nasty. So I use Aquaphor. Aquaphor is my favorite and it literally saved my life when I was on Accutane. Another good skincare tip is after you use all of your skincare on your face, put it on your hands. This will make your hands so soft. It'll make your hands feel so good. As for body care, I stopped using a fishnet loofah so long ago, you guys. I only use silicone loofahs. They also get tangled up and it holds a lot of bacteria. So I just switched out and got a silicone one and I just feel more clean. I feel like it's more gentle on my skin and it is more hygienic. So I bought this pack from Amazon and I'm going to link all these products below. I can also use the extras while I'm traveling. Hyaluronic acid body wash makes my skin so glowy. Now when you're in the shower and you're using your body wash, you want to make sure after you rinse it off that you do not dry your skin super hard with a towel. Whenever you do that, your skin is going to look really dry and dull throughout the day. So if you notice throughout the day that you're like, what? I just put on lotion. I don't understand why I'm so dry. It's because you are scrubbing your skin dry and you're not patting it lightly. You should leave your skin a little bit damp and then put body lotion on your skin and this is what will help your skin stay more moisturized throughout the entire day. So I love the Gold Bonds Lotion. I'm not going to really be recommending products that have scent just because scent can break out a lot of people. A lot of people are allergic to it. They also have a Hyaluronic Acid Body Lotion with Gold Bonds and I love it so much. It feels so good on my skin and it gives me a glass skin shine. Now if you you have dark spots on your body that you want to get rid of I also recommend using natanola on your dark spots and you need to be using a body scrub one to two times a week so I recommend using the KP body scrub if you feel like you have strawberry legs if you feel like your dark spots aren't going away use a body scrub and after your body scrub you could shave and you could also put on a good lotion afterwards to make sure that your skin looks really nice and clean using a really sharp razor is absolutely key now if you're shaving and you're finding that you're always getting ingrown, your legs are always red and irritated, you're probably either not exfoliating or your razor is old.
old and you're not switching out your razor you guys need to be switching out your razor your razor is becoming dull every time you use it you want to make sure your razor is super sharp every single time you're doing a new shave I really love the Venus razors because I feel like this is a razor I could use multiple times before it gets dull and I also like that they have a cream over it it's like a barrier to protect my skin now if you have a perfume that you want to use and you find that it's not lasting throughout the day put Vaseline on your pulse points and then spray perfume our body mist now this is really good if you have a perfume that you're obsessed with and you find it's not lasting on you throughout the day this is a really good way to smell good all day long having your nails done is such an easy way to elevate your appearance now this doesn't mean that you always have to have polish on it I don't have polish on my nails right now but just to keep it clean and cut is so important make sure you're filing your nails at home if you don't want to put paint on your nails you could put a gloss on your nails to make it look healthier you could also use regular polish what I have been doing recently because I haven't been wanting to spend money at a nail salon I do my gel X nails at home this is so nice to buy on Amazon it's super affordable if you don't want to spend a lot of money going to a salon it's also a great hobby to pick up if you're looking to learn something new it's so easy to learn I love to use press on nails at home whenever I'm going out to events and stuff this is my favorite brand because it's so easy to file and it's not bulky on your nails like I hate when I buy press on and they're super bulky and look unnatural it's also important to know what nail shape fits your hand the best I have really small hands so I like to use almond shape because it makes my hands look longer and slimmer sometimes I like to do a square shape that's more tapered I feel like that looks good on a lot of girls hands you want to floss your teeth every single day now most of the time when people have bad breath it's because they are not flossing so you need to make sure that you're flossing because every single time you eat girl your food is getting in between your teeth so that is the reason why you want to make sure you floss one to two times a day I floss twice a day every morning and every night I don't like to go to sleep with food in my mouth so you want to make sure that you're flossing floss picks are not as good as actual floss floss picks are good if you're like going somewhere you're going to a restaurant you're traveling and you just need to get something out of your mouth like really fast but as for a thorough floss you need to buy the ones that roll out if you find that you have a little bit of a yellow stain in between your teeth a good fix for that is to make sure you're putting toothpaste on your floss this will really make it white again after you floss you want to brush your teeth I like using an electric toothbrush because mine has a timer on it because you're supposed to brush your teeth for two minutes every single day always use a really good mouthwash this will make your breath smell good all day long my favorite mouthwash is a Thera breath because they come in different flavors and I feel like anytime I use it my breath smells so fresh and minty exfoliating your lips is a really good idea it'll make your lips super soft and pink and it's super easy to do at home like everyone has sugar at home everyone has olive oil at home just make a little mixture and just put it on your lips once a week and just scrub it around your lips make sure you are using toothpaste with no whitening products I know a lot of people recommend toothpaste with whitening products but the reason why this is not a good idea is because it could break down your enamel and just make your teeth way more sensitive use a regular toothpaste and then you could use whitening products by itself but to use whitening products on your teeth every day is just making it more and more sensitive I love using the Sensodyne toothpaste I feel like that's what really helped my teeth not be as sensitive but if you do want to whiten your teeth don't use whitening products in your toothpaste just use whitening products outside of your toothpaste and I'm going to link this product down below that is so good at whitening teeth that you can buy on Amazon as for style I feel like I can make an entire video on how to elevate your style there are so many pieces in your closet right now that you can restyle into a new aesthetic but if you do want to buy new clothes and you don't know where to start and you don't want to spend a lot of money Facebook marketplace has all the finds I'm always on Facebook marketplace searching for clothes I'm always thrifting looking for clothes just search up your favorite brands on Facebook marketplace go to the thrift store start looking for items that fit your new aesthetic that you want to embody make sure you're finding clothes that fit your body type properly you always want to make sure that you build a good capsule wardrobe before anything or let's say you find an outfit that is super cute but it's super expensive go on Pinterest scan the outfit you could even do this on Amazon go on Amazon scan the outfit they're really good at showing you dupes of that style for your eyebrows I'm so Somebody who loves getting my eyebrows done I love getting my eyebrows laminated because my eyebrows are actually really thin whenever I feel like I don't want to go pay for a brow lamination I do this at home it's so easy you just put the two mixtures together you mix it you leave it on your eyebrows and it helps to dye your eyebrows it comes in a few different colors I'm going to link this down below but I love doing this I also pluck my eyebrows at home you could wax your eyebrows at home you just need to find the right eyebrow shape for your face shape because everybody has a different face shape so it's about finding what fits and frames your face and enhances
enhances your features. One of the biggest game changers for me to have healthier hair is to always make sure I'm using my conditioner before I use my shampoo. I love the Aussie Moist Conditioner because it's so hydrating on my hair. I like to section my hair and I like to comb the conditioner through my hair and then after I let it sit for a minute to penetrate my strands, I use shampoo only on my scalp. When you use shampoo all over your hair strands, it can really dry your entire hair and it makes your hair more brittle and easier to break off. So this is really good if you have dry hair, if you have frizzy hair. When you shampoo your scalp, your shampoo will fall down your hair strands. When you're just using shampoo all over your hair, you're making your hair drier. So this can make it greasier throughout the week and break off more easily. Always know how often you need to shampoo your hair. Everybody's hair is different. Even if you don't like wearing your hair natural, having your hair naturally healthy is so important. You don't want to overly put heat on your hair, but whenever you are using heat, always use a heat protectant. This one is my favorite heat protectant. I think it smells really good and it has never done me wrong. Know which hot tools work best for your hair. For my hair, I used a wand and I feel like that's so good for frizzy hair. When you don't know what to do with your frizzy hair, you could just use a wand on it and it just creates these beautiful curls. Always know what hairstyles to use for your face shape. I'm going to list some videos down below where you can figure out what hairstyles frame your face the best. I also like to follow a strict hair routine. So I wash my hair once a week. I also deep condition my hair once a week. I do it on the same day. I have one day a week where I do all my hair care stuff. So it's super important to keep your hair on a schedule because this helps your hair to stay healthy. And if you want to grow it, this is super important to do. You want to make sure that you're working out regularly at home. You do not need a lot of equipment. You don't need anything. Girl, you just need the ground. Okay, you just need the ground. Some books for the weights, okay? Walk for at least 30 minutes. This is really good. If you wanna lose weight, if you wanna stay healthy, if you wanna maintain your weight, I go on a walk for 30 minutes every single morning. I put on a good podcast to listen to. I don't even listen to music whenever I'm working out. I like to listen to podcasts. I'm like that girl. <laughs> I love doing bar and yoga school. I know people talk about Pilates. I personally tried it myself. I did not like it. And if you're like me and you felt like you didn't really like Pilates, bar, okay? Bar is so good. Whenever I went to my first bar class, I literally felt like I was gonna die. Like, I felt like it was so extreme in a good way to where like my entire body felt like it was having a good workout, including Yoga Sculpt. Yoga Sculpt gave me the same exact feeling. And I use ClassPass because I saw a lot of girls using it. So I'm gonna link it down below. If you guys are interested in using ClassPass and you just wanna use the trial and not spend money on it yet, but I am obsessed with ClassPass because I could just try different classes without actually paying for a membership for the specific studio yoga sculpt is really good because your body is always moving I like doing workouts that target everything there are so many good YouTube videos that you could watch at home without actually going to a studio to pay for a membership one of the best things that I did for my diet is intermittent fasting now I know this is not for everyone it helped me maintain my weight but it also helped me cut down on snacking I used to be a really bad snacker like I would just eat snacks without actually being hungry and I'll just look back in the day and be like wait a minute I didn't eat a meal all day. Intermittent fasting, cut that out, okay, immediately. I do not snack anymore. Maybe I snack once in a blue moon, but honestly, I really don't. And I feel like if you want to lose weight, intermittent fasting is also a really good option for you. If you don't buy it, you won't eat it. So stop buying junk for the house. If you know that you want to cut down on junk, if you know you want to cut down on snacks, don't buy it for the house. Don't feel like you have to eat perfectly all day long. Like that just doesn't make any sense, okay? It doesn't make any sense. You need to treat yourself. You need to eat a junk food at least once a week okay have a cheat day if you want to be serious about your diet I would just have one cheat day a week you could have any cheat day where you're like I'll just eat whatever I want this day and the other days I'll be strict don't feel like you have to follow this perfect mold because that's really not good for you I have been using the same makeup for about five six years now I feel like the most expensive thing in your routine should be your foundation though just because I feel like foundation is such an important part of your makeup routine that I will never budget on foundation but if we are talking about about not spending a lot of money and you want to know a really good affordable foundation I would say L'Oreal True is my favorite affordable foundation I think it's a really good foundation I do not think that you need to buy expensive makeup you could just use new tricks to enhance your makeup that you already have but the most important thing to do is to make sure your skin is good because when your skin is nice when your skin is clear this is what will make your makeup look really good it will look really glowy it will look really fresh so you want to make sure your base as in your skin is good then you want to use a 
primer. Understanding your skin type is so important for makeup because if you are like me, right, and you have dry skin, you want to use makeup that's dewy, glowy. If you have oily skin, you don't want to use makeup like that. You want to use makeup that's either normal or a little bit more on the dry side, the matte side. So make sure you know your skincare type before you go out and use and purchase makeup. Instead of using the beauty blender directly under your eyes after you put it in your baking powder, tap it in the baking powder, tap a little bit off on your hand, and then use it on your face. This will stop it from looking so harsh under your eyes and on your face, and it'll make it look more natural. What helped me drink more water is getting a cute water bottle and just always making sure it's filled up and near my bed at all times. Bring your water bottle everywhere you go with you at all times. Water is so important to keep your skin looking super moisturized, healthy, it reduces puffiness. One of my favorite go-to makeup tricks, brown liner and lip gloss. Girl, that's what I have on right now. It makes your face look so good without doing a lot, like without doing the most, just use a brown liner and lip gloss. I literally grab my lip brush, I put it in my eyeshadow, my black eyeshadow, I put it on my lips and I put lip gloss and I am good to go. How good you feel on the inside 100% translates into your skin on the outside. If you're in an unhealthy relationship, you're not eating good, you feel bad about yourself, you're talking negatively about yourself, it will definitely affect your physical appearance 100%. If you feel insecure about yourself, it will affect your physical appearance, I promise you. So I want you to watch my video on how to get over the fear of being seen. This will definitely make you feel more confident and there are also really good tips on there on how to glow up. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye!